Hi friends, welcome back. In the next part on this series of Success Image, a guide to relish and realize goals, we will bring to you the topics on communication barriers and the strategies. When we need to send a communication, we most often perceive that the same is received and understood by the receiver. The fact is that most often it is not. In order to be effective in your communication, you must know what all barriers exist. Let us see the types of communication barriers. The way you communicate and the channels you choose determine the effectiveness of the communication. Sometimes it may be one or more channels in succession. For example, you may speak to the person and formulate it through a mail after concurring with the person. You may send a mail and ask the person to see and then you may discuss and formalize it. Individuals communicate in various ways each day. The manner you convey information can have a significant impact and is determined by how the other person or group receives it. You may send an SMS to your superior and how he perceived it is dependent on the relationship you enjoy with him. You may have a superior who may not like it by habit. Your superior may be interested about the work plan for the day and not interested about your absence unless it is a serious issue. You must understand the person when you communicate. Let us see some of the challenges or barriers of effective communication. The first is the physical barriers. When you communicate over phone, the audibility may not be good and could be having interference of noise. Either you or the person whom you are communicating will think that what is said is being heard on the other side, but in reality it is not. Similar is the situation when you speak to someone else in a surrounding noisy condition. The barrier is also about office layouts. Suppose if you have several managers in one area, then employees may feel embarrassed to speak without proper confidentiality. Now let us see communication strategies. Communication strategies in the workplace will help increase the effectiveness of communication. We will present to you 10 communication strategies you can use to overcome and prevent communication challenges. Non-verbal communication strategies. Body language is to be focused on. Any wrong interpretation of this to be avoided. Sit or stand straight while communicating. Do not take a bent posture. Maintain a tone that is appropriate to your communication. When you are discussing a serious topic, have a firm and confident tone. When you communicate verbally, be aware that you are communicating to convince someone or a group of people. Whenever you are communicating in person, maintain eye contact. Maintaining eye contact will evoke equal interest with others and enable active participation and conversation. Then there are active listening strategies. When you are communicating, listen. Ask for feedback. Do not override others. This helps in gaining acceptability of your viewpoint with others. When you are listening, you may also nod your head and make small tones or gestures, especially over phone, where one cannot see the other person, to indicate that you are listening attentively. I would like to cite an incident where I was with a very senior experienced person in a meeting of stakeholders of a project. This is a meeting where every service provider and stakeholders come together to resolve problematic issues of coordination, execution, etc. in a project. There, we may have some service providers who may also give excuses to cover up missed targets. If the targets are off by a week, it may not matter much. But if they are off by weeks together, then it is a serious matter since it could impact the entire project deadline. There was one such service provider in the meeting who was managing to make excuses by blaming other service providers for their pending activities. The customer did not like it and tried to intervene. Our senior consultant stopped the customer from intervening. Later when the service provider concluded, we all had a laugh in the end. You know why? He had tied himself up by speaking over so much that he had unconsciously and logically concluded himself that their services missing target had nothing to do with the other services. Our senior professional then said, that you must allow people to talk and you will get to know 
the real cause in the end. They will tie themselves up in knots. Hence, communication is not all about sending signals. You must believe in sending signals that matter and not hurt you later. When someone is speaking, listen patiently. Put forth your views after the person and others have finished speaking. If the speech is long and you have several points to clarify or get clarified, make notes so that you touch upon all of them in the clarification session. Focus on what the other person is saying. Paying attention is key to effective communication. When another person is speaking, give them all your attention and acknowledge that you are hearing their message. Next is verbal communication strategies. While communicating, there can be some distractions like noise, ringing mobile, crosstalk, etc. Select a place where you can avoid such distractions. When you find there are distractions which cannot be eliminated, put off the communication if possible, if it is not urgent or important. Most importantly, show empathy. If the other person who is communicating makes an irrelevant or a silly point or remark, do not react either verbally or non-verbally. If it deserves, just respond by making a dignified clarification and leave it at that. Then there are written communication strategies. Before sending out written communication, read it over again. If possible, let it remain in your draft folder for a night. Read it again, make modifications and send. Take a second opinion of your superiors and a trusted colleague before sending. Draft written communication using appropriate grammar and spelling. Turn on spell check in your mails. Do not use jargons, sign language, smileys, etc. Never criticize others in written communication. Just mildly comment on the actions and not on individuals. In short, be objective and not subjective. Friends, with this, we come to the end of this session. We request you to like the video by pressing the like button if you have liked it. And surely subscribe to our channel, which is a great motivation for us. And this can be done by subscribing through the link which is shown below the video or by clicking on the link which will follow in this video a little later.